So welcome to all. This is uh, first design at home and uh, welcome. Thanks for joining. I will just remind that the session will be recorded. So uh, if you uh, have some issue on the recording, you can uh, close your camera. I'll give the floor to my colleague uh, Miroslav Polzer to uh, open this uh, amazing event. So the floor to you, Miroslav. Thank you very much, Domenico, our designathon coordinator. So my name is Miroslav Polzer. I'm with the International Association for the Advancement of Innovative Approaches to Global Challenges. Uh, it's a United Nations accredited organization based in Austria. And we are delighted to organize this uh, today's designathon in partnership with UN Habitat, Unique uh, Network, NFT Platform, Exquisite Workers, Hubzine, uh, the organization of Domenico, Boolean. UI, user experience, user interface design solutions, the look and feel and ideas for gamification for the digital art for climate, digital collectibles, NFTs platform and app. And the second aim is outline of software solutions for digital art for climate marketplace for digital art collectibles, NFTs trading. And third, the formation of a community of design and software solution providers who will work with us on the implementation of identified solutions and designs. So uh, let me briefly introduce uh, you some more uh, information about the Digital Art for Climate Initiative. So Digital Art for Climate is a multi-stakeholder partnership initiative which uses blockchain technology, the so-called non-fungible tokens, NFTs, to turn artwork into digital assets which can be collected and traded. Uh, and uh, this overall aim of uh, this initiative is to support climate action uh, around the world in the context of United Nations goals and programs, uh, especially sustainable development goals. Here you see an image uh, from the pre-launch event, which has been in the context of the World Environment Day on the 4th of uh, June this year. And uh, below you see the list of the 17 sustainable development goals, because our uh, initiative really aims to provide systemic solutions that support the United Nations and supports uh, to the addressing effectively the climate crisis. And so what is this uh, that's systemic solution and what is the challenge, why we are doing it and how we are uh, approaching it, uh, the, problem. So uh, the problem is that these big goals that the United Nations is uh, have proclaimed, have adopted, uh, they need everyone everywhere educated, empowered and engaged. And uh, we are very far away from this goal. Very many people are lacking uh, entry points uh, for meaningful and rewarding engagement. And uh, we believe that culture is uh, really a game changer, a very important catalyst and empowerer of uh, uh, stakeholder engagement in climate action, especially youth uh, engagement. But there's a lack of easily accessible entry points and tools for artists and their fans to contribute to global goals implementation. There, and there's a lack of uh, mechanisms to reward them. So, um, well, the slides are jumping a little bit uncontrolled. Okay, a minute. That's the problem. So here we are again. Sorry. Okay, let's go to full screen. Sorry. So um, we have now two elements of the solution. The, the first element is that uh, we are using. Um, and if blockchain technology, non-fungible tokens to create digital assets, digital collectibles, which are uniquely identifiable contributions to these global goals, implementation mechanisms, and uh, 
I guess you have, you are aware of uh, non-fungible tokens, so no need uh, to go into further details. We have our experts from Unique Network who will also be there to guide regarding these questions. And the second uh, element of the solution is this uh, designathon uh, competition and the marketplace through which we then uh, really operationalize this uh, culture-based uh, non-fungible tokens. We create a digital platform through which artists will be able to register their artwork in a global digital art for climate registry, create non-fungible tokens and as digital assets and certificates of ownership of the artwork, which can be saved and managed by the owner, collector on digital wallets, showcase the artwork in global and local thematic digital galleries, participate in local and global online competitions and to trade the digital assets on a digital art for climate marketplace in a self-determined, flexible revenue sharing arrangement, which will support artists, youth climate action projects, as well as global and local action for climate empowerment infrastructure. Our technological pillar is uh, the unique network NFT platform for the back end of uh, the solution for this uh, digital art for climate initiative and marketplace. So uh, regarding uh, the, what we need uh, for uh, with today's designathon is uh, design solutions for the art competition. And uh, then um, we, have the minting of NFTs, artwork, gallery, and voting. This is what we will need immediately. And the long-term vision of uh, uh, the Digital Art for Climate Initiative is to develop a marketplace where people, where artists will be able to, in an ongoing uh, open platform, to, uh, to post their artwork on the uh, on the marketplace and then define uh, what share of the revenues they want for the, to have for themselves, the big uh, climate action project, projects for which the remaining parts uh, of the revenues shall be channeled to, and then also having um, uh, action for climate empowerment uh, infrastructure and uh, the UN habitat and UN environment, world environment situation room, youth engagement programs as uh, infrastructure programs to which also a certain part of the revenues is channeled for. And the vision that we have is that um, climate action with this non-fungible tokens uh, concept and technological uh, basis will uh, come on everyone's mobile devices and that people will um, take action and collect uh, recognitions and uh, certificates of accomplished uh, climate action as a digital badges NFTs collection game. So this is just an info background information about the vision that we have so that uh, when you develop solutions, you can think also whether the immediately necess necessary solutions that we provide fits also in the longer term, uh, can be scaled and developed further in this context of this longer term vision. And uh, we are very happy and proud to have wonderful partners uh, in this uh, Digital Art for Climate uh, initiative. And uh, I would uh, like to give now the floor to, uh, to Johanna Habitat uh, program. Uh, and uh, is Doug already with us? So that we have the, yes. So Doug, Hi, could yeah. you take the floor and Thank yeah. Thanks so much. Um, also here. Yeah. Thanks so, so much. I mean, we're. I just want to be brief. I'm um, just to say that we're really honored to be in this, be involved in this program. We think it's a great way to marry technology, innovation, um, climate change, and young people. I think that we we see huge potentials not only for um, young just the everyday run of the wheel young pe people, but we also see it as more marginalized young people from informal settlements, from many of the parts of the world the, that we have, um, uh, that we work within. And um, yeah, so I guess we're just to say, we're really excited and looking forward to the next step into the design, the design-a-thon and, um, and, uh, and uh, launching this platform. So thank you very much. So now the floor to 
our tech partner, uh, Unit Network. So, Irina, if you want to uh, present Unique and uh, also your team. Thank you, Domenico. Thank you, everyone, for joining. It's a great honor and pleasure for us to be tech partner of such an amazing initiative. Uh, blockchain is all about transparency, distribution, and decentralization. And for the first time in history, we have a chance to give power back to the creators, as well as to trace uh, transparency, have transparency and trace where the funds for charity really go, if they really reach the right hands. Uh, and this is supremely important. Also, we as Unique Network are using proof of stake uh, blockchain solution, which is um, environmentally friendly. And we are now part of the clean NFT um, consortium, so to speak. Um, so uh, we also uh, support climate initiatives and we believe that um, we have to provide the best possible solution in the most friendly, uh, environmentally friendly way. Uh, so we've come up with essential some of the essential tools that we believe should be available to every single artist, which is all in one solution, including minting, wallet, gallery and marketplace. So artists have the opportunity to showcase their art and not necessarily sell it, sell it when needed on the marketplace, have a wallet to view and, and transfer their tokens, as well as mint tokens. And um, we are very excited about this initiative uh, with UX and UI partnerships as we are offering a work partnership. We're really looking for talented teams that will develop the best solution for um, our digital art for climate initiative. And we're looking for beauty, um, creativity, talent. I'm happy to present my team today. We're together with um, Dan Thomas. Dan is our developers evangelist. Uh, so he will be guiding you through the process of um, connecting back end and front end. During this hackathon, we will really be focusing mainly on the front end solution. So all that user um, is seeing. However, the winning team will be offered uh, the opportunity to work with us uh, and to work also with unique team, not only on this initiative, but hopefully on other projects. Um, so Domenico, shall we shall I pass it to you back? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Irina. And so I briefly present myself also. Uh, Miro has introduced myself. I'm Domenico Vito. I'm uh, the coordinator of the hackathon and also a member of Abs in Italia. Uh, it has, that is a, a knowledge sharing platform and together with uh, uh, the Gosha Foundation and also, also this amazing partner we are uh, proposing this event. So uh, I will just give a few hints about the organization of the hackathon itself. So this is the word that we are uh, putting for uh, uh, the best solution that will be announced on uh, the uh, 29th of July. Uh, we, have, uh, we will have monetary and non-monetary uh, prices. And uh, this is like a brief overview of the running activity, just to figure out how the hackathon uh, will run. Uh, you, will, uh, you are now have subscribed, some as a team, some as a single person. Uh, we will communicate to you uh, after this uh, meeting, uh, the teams. Uh, and so we will have uh, till uh, tomorrow to eventually check or change or communicate some uh, like uh, uh, modification. And uh, for the ones that have registered as a team, uh, we kindly ask to send us the team members uh, but of course, even if you are a team or a single person, you will uh, be asked to work together with other person in uh, uh, multidisciplinary uh, groups in order to catch up with uh, some solution. Uh, as Irina said, uh, we will support you in the developing the, the solution and uh, um, the, the challenge that uh, we are uh, asking to you. And uh, in this process, we have also some checkpoints, we called. Uh, we will organize some Zoom calls on these three dates, so on 23, uh, on 26, and uh, the last day on 28 to finalize like the, the, the work in order to guide you 
and uh, um, receive for you some also middle term uh, inputs. Uh, for the first checkpoint, uh, you have to come out with the basic idea development. Then for the second checkpoint, uh, you have to come out with the requirements and description definition. And then of course, for the last checkpoint, you need to be uh, going to finalize the work and eventually also to present the pitch because for the last day, you will be asked to uh, pitch your idea. So these are the contacts of, uh, of the team that is supporting the uh, designathon. Uh, we are uh, here, me and Miroslav, uh, um, as a coordinator and project manager, uh, the wonderful team of Unique that uh, was already presented that uh, will help you in tech design and blockchain. And then also uh, I give them the floor to uh, like explain uh, that they have set up some moments in which you can ask them questions and so on. And there is the digital art design support by Anna from Exquisite uh, uh, Workers and uh, um, um, the support on uh, UI UX design uh, from the team on uh, Palette. Uh, there is a uh, uh, Pravanjan, but also uh, like a very, very great group that then will explain you also some hints on how uh, to design in uh, UI UX. So as I said, um, the unique team has set some uh, um, dates in which they will receive questions from you. So Irina, if you want to say more about that. I would like to pass a word to Dan because also he prepared some uh, points, but uh, in general, yes, you see the dates. So we decided in order to keep um, the workflow efficient to have some dates in which you can sub submit a bunch of questions and we can um, then deliver it to our technical team that's based in Moscow. And then uh, we'll be back with all the answers on the next morning. Okay. Dan, do we? Yeah, absolutely delighted to be here. Well, a fantastic event to be involved with. Uh, I, can't, uh, I can't express how excited I am to be involved in this project. And uh, yeah, those open times for questions for the designathon, they will fit around the, the, the profile and the, the, the checkpoints that Domenico has set out. And we're looking, uh, we're looking for a, a vast array of questions. No question is a silly question in this space. I mean, it's all new information to everybody. So please don't be afraid to ask anything that you'd like to ask within those periods. We're here to support you and help you with, the, 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 with any of the technical questions. If you have uh, technical people in your team or just uh, people, software developers with lots of experience, we have capacity to deal with those. Or if you have introductory questions to substrate blockchain uh, technologies, which we're built on and we help help facilitate this technology, uh, you can, we can dive straight into those as well. But, uh, any, uh, but we're open to any questions around blockchain technologies and how we can help you integrate your, your front-end solutions into the uh, digital art for climate marketplace in the end. Okay, so I think that's it. Yeah, that's great. Thank, that's all for me. But again, thanks very much for, uh, for, for being part of this, uh, for inviting us to be part of this amazing collaborative effort. It's really great to be here. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, guys, and thank you for uh, uh, your uh, your support. And uh, so, uh, before giving the, the floor to uh, Pravanjan, I want also to uh, ask to Anna to introduce herself, and then we can give the floor to uh, Pravanjan. Anna, if you want to uh, also introduce yourself, Anna is like our, our uh, design and uh, heart mentor. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Let's check if you can see me. Can you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let me share with you something. Just a second. Can you see my screen? Sure. Wow. Thanks for the feedback. I just, just a second. No, it was right. <laughs> <clears throat> so yes please Anna go ahead we will see your screen wonderful well first of all I'm very excited to be here I'm Anna and I'm astronaut artist and I'm from Earth 
Uh, you're from Earth too. And although it's one of many planets out there, we've got to wake up to the fact that we don't have any more. And this is and this is a finite planet. We know the limits of the resources we have. We may be able to use them differently. May, we may have some innovative new ideas and we currently do, but in general, that's what we've got. And there's no more of it. Now, picture your favorite place in nature. Picture that place that you love, that sacred place where you can feel more at ease and feel peace. And now imagine that it's broken or even worse it's gone how would you feel if it disappears forever one of the things that i really like about my work is that it allows me to step back from my every day and to experience a larger context this feeling that if we just go out and try to find planets in the universe that might be like ours it, it always makes me think how precious it is what we have here but like so many beautiful things around it slipping away from us and we haven't even noticed because we honestly not really looking what are we looking instead well we look at our phones we we'll look at our computers we we'll look at the screens of all kinds and honestly we rarely even take the trouble to look around and see each other and let alone taking this next step and look up into the woods and the oceans animal world we clearly have inherited incredible legacies from our common ancestors, cities and countries we live in, medical breakthrough, agriculture, disruptive technologies, extraordinary art. But art, what is art? Women have been creating visual art since the dawn of our species, beginning with powerful depictions of game animals found in the caves, ranging from France to Indonesia, the greatest art inspires to be something more than weightless. It lifts the spirits, it tutors them, it rewards creativity and makes us feel alive. Art enlightens to advance social, political, ecological awareness. Art has a power to counteract and transcend any ism which comes to mind. I also think of the destruction of the art as some, something good. <laughs> the implementation being that we are transported to a more special, stimulating and morally superior realm that is offered by our compromised existence. There is no greater way of soothing the troubled soul than a profound engagement with art. Visual art is always evolving. For example, there was a time when oil uh, easel painting was a new transformational tool. And in coming years, it's going to be artistic potential we'll find it in virtual reality. We believe that through the process of appreciating art, we witness the struggle, struggles and the brilliance of humanity. And through the process of creating art, we surrender to the brilliance within ourselves. Let me introduce you to Johan Chu. He is a crypto entrepreneur and collector from Hong Kong. And I got to know him in the art, uh, Digital Art Collector Summit in the beginning of June in the Larry's List, which drew nearly 200 art collectors, art professionals, and art lovers from all around the world. Johan Chu shared his views on the art scene and said that we are living the new chapter on the contemporary art history. And guess what? This is digital art. And also that NFTs reflect a historical moment and the shift in the modus operandi of the art world. Oh, such extraordinary words. But uh, could they just aren't really good for your heart. Digital art slowly emerged at the late 1980s uh, with introduction of personal computers. 40 years later, the division be between reality and imaginary had collapsed. Now we live in a hyperreality, a world where simulations of reality seem more, than, more real than reality itself. Digital technology and artistic expression are now intervened. This exciting integration of art and computers, artificial intelligence, design have, have been made possible by a brilliant synergy of art, math, science, and technology. Today, 
with the advancement made in distributed ledger technology, digital collectors can possess the immutable ownership of digital assets. But not just NFTs, all cryptocurrencies and blockchain-based technology have come under fire because of their impact on environment. And the idea is to keep reducing the energy consumption and use the NFTs for the common good. Hmm. I think I hear some bird singing in some strange way. Sometimes I feel like I can justify myself with a bird, maybe because I kind of always have been dreaming about having the ability to fly. So it must be love, most likely not mutual. The past decade has been hotter than any other time in recorded history. Currently, our Earth system is largely predictable. We expect the weather to behave in a certain way. Um, however, once we begin to interfere with the system, everything comes into the question. Planet Earth will definitely survive, but we will not. And there will be areas in the planet which will be in, even inhabitable, I would say. Climate change will change the very foundation of our existence as we know it. And the United Nations announced 2021 as a year of creative economy to recognize the value of creativity as a powerful source for climate action. Digital Art for Climate is the historical initiative which invites creative curious about the environmentally friendly blockchain technology to cover the best ideas to take charge in the climate change. Hmm, your favorite tree is still there. Good news. <laughs> um, I haven't told you why I'm here. It's been two months since we left Earth and we're finally on our way to the moon, soaring on solar sails with a sense of awe. Launch opportunities like this only come once in a lifetime when Earth and the parallel reality line up. This mysterious artist's first galaxy where the planet Earth is in the center of it all. I heard of it. But one thing is to observe, another one to experience, and the only way for me to help others to comprehend it, it was to be part of it. And so now I'm on board of NFT to stay mission. Our first challenge was to actually get off Earth. That's not as easy as it sounds. It's a hell of a ride in the radical shifts in the perception of the world. To break free a gravitational pull, we needed to reach escape philosophy, velocity from old ideas, which is 40,000 kilometers per hour and be resistant to the high g-forces and fears. We trained for 374 days and completed 23 digital exquisite corpses, corpses missions on Earth and our entry in the solar chain system seems to be a natural extension of the year commitment to express ourselves artistically and to connect with white audiences and learn from each other. Even though in the Zero Gravity Instagram Stimulator, we created 1,455 illustrations. During takeoff, I got dizzy, experimented multiple times the gravitational force and anxiety of what was coming. Once escaped Earth pool, I fell weightless, and our journey began. Our crew members are If, Exquisite Corpse Snake, nine great mentors. I got introduced to Mr. Anne Ernst. Max Ernst and Miss Frida. Uh, let me show you. Although they seem a little bit crazy, they're special. They're very good teachers and extraordinary artists. They particularly like the hypnagogic shield of our rocket, which is sleek, glossy, and utterly extravagant. In the early, uh, in their daily lectures in Surrealists We Trust, they teach us how to think disruptively, become our own supportive investors, and expand the meaning of the word value. In the NFT space, this is interesting, we call our first minted artwork Genesis Pieces. This is an app name for the symbolic new beginning of the NFT's artist's entry into new space, a new paradigm of art. What was the surrealist Genesis piece? It was Kadavarik Ski, Exquisite Corpse. Look at this piece of paper. It was done in 1926. Some artists, some surrealists, they came together in the bar, they took a piece of paper, they folded it to conceal their contribution before passing to the next player. And when they opened it, they discovered some amazing creature which finished being in the greatest 
uh, global art museums. How did our story start? We brought this tradition in 2020 on the 6th of April to the Instagram. Uh, we took this grid, Instagram grid, and each of the artists has its own piece of the grid to express their personal universe. And like this, we created the longest living piece of art, continuity of um, amazing illustrations done by different artists from all over the world. Well, we believe that if you see our um, character, he, he was in the main historical um, moments of the history, sorry for the, in the main historical moments. <laughs> um yeah you can see him with even with people oh my god um yeah this is what we created during the last year it's just a little piece and it was the daily work we posted three illustrations per day until we reached 2021 when roger house our founder and anna Dar, myself we opened the door to the metaverse with this nft to stay mission so now we create not only the illustrations but NFTs. By tokenizing the first in the history exquisite corpse drawn in real time, we connect the past and the future cities, countries, continents online and a physical realm. Exquisite corpse is the allegory of a crypto holding due to its structural composition. Each piece in a, fits in a particular order, and without each piece, the entire thing falls apart. We're not alone. <laughs> Look, <laughs> two months, eh? Two months since we started NFT journey. Uh, we love thinking about our planet, changing the global energy system to avoid climate change and doing concrete projects. Now it's time for more national and international heroes too. <clears throat> Those who can step forward to do the hard work of this journey and face uncertainty. It requires courage but alternative is not really an option. Even if we get everybody working on it, we need to focus on the where, the what, and the who. We want the future of good food, so it's be delicious. We want to fall in love with the rivers and mountains, with ice sheets and savannas, and reconnect with the long and live life-giving circles of nature. I would like you and the artists to help to communicate the gravity and the urgency of the situation and solutions more efficiently. We owe it to our children and grandchildren. We need a bigger conversation, international dialogue. Our legacy to leave behind is the interrogation, validation, as well as experiences aiming to form new perspectives of life and a positive thought and moments of epiphany. We need collaboration, imagination, determination, because failure is not an option. We want digital art to have a human face. When we act together, the whole thing is much more than just the sum of the parts. We need collusion. And today, we invite you to join Digital Art for Climate Design Aton, as well as the art competition. We're excited to celebrate uh, the International Youth Day on the 12th of August, 2021 by launching this art competition where any digital, NFT, and traditional artists are welcome to submit their climate-related artwork. We're a generation that can make peace with nature. And let's get active, not anxious. Let's be bold, not timid. Let's think and plan on the scale of the millennia. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anna. I'm really amazed of your presentation. And uh, we have seen a uh, hint of uh, uh, also what we are going to propose and we are going to do. And uh, I very appreciate also the, the last word of, uh, of Anna. We are the last generation that we can make peace with nature. And this is something also that stands uh, in this mission. So now we'll give the floor uh, to Prav from uh, uh, Palette 69. So, Prav, the floor to you to give uh, some uh, uh, like suggestion also to design uh, uh, UX, UI, UX uh, uh, platform. So, the floor to you. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for the opportunity. This is a big thing for us, like, um, like human coming together. Uh, so, every person have their own story. So, I will just share my screen and give you a glimpse of what we are and where we come from, just a quick glimpse. 
so thank you climate change and all the people who are uh, in the initiative so we are like palette 69 palette 69 is about a studio who design experiences our core design is something invisible we don't we our design is not visible but it have a visible impact on human life so experience design is that like so bullion is a metaverse economy which is bridging the gap between the creators and the fan so next coming is our key highlight we have more than 3 decades of experience the core team has 3 decade of experience in designing uh, gamifying content actual games system design and behavioral design so all this aspect apart from the game all are invisible design which again have very visible impact in our human life so uh, in 2020 we got the award of best creative studio from india from a very reputed magazine called entrepreneur so they told like it is the best place to work best creative person to work with and uh, we have more than 100 clients globally and we have catered to three of uh, these are some of the biggest client who we whom we provide content and design services apart from this services we also have collaborated with making actual games in some of the game are available in steam some are in ios some are in android so these are globally from us uk and all over the places you can think of and we have been fortunate enough to be the guest faculty in top of two top uh, india's top two best institute one is nid which is happens to be asia's largest design institute and iit also it's one of the biggest institute where we teach the psychology of design and how it impact the human life so this is little bit about ourselves how we came from and the next slide is about uh, like this is for the participant and the people who are participating for the ux and the ui what we expect for how they can reach the why the what and the how so every concept every th theory start with a philosophical aspect then the science come then the technology come so we as a human we are very easy to understand the philosophy aspect so if i distribute this why how how so why come from the passion inspiration and desperation of the human life if you know the why then there is high chances these three attributes are there because you are somehow inspired somehow desperate or somehow passionate to create the why second part is the how so how is the combination of science and technology here come the experience here come the knowledge here come the persistence to push it forward the third is the most important aspects the how even if you know the why and the what you have to figure out the how the technology aspect the compass and the determination and the persistence so we are focusing on this three element where people when designing a front end or the ux ui they should have the story or the narrative done very clearly so this is a very overview of what we expect but i am going to show you another slide how we how you can present in a very clear and a very crisp manner so this is a checklist and you can also find this in the info we will pin up in the info discord channel everyone can have access to this so these are the five most features when people applying in the hackathon can think of when applying this why i told like why is the most important aspect which is very short and crisp why you are into this second is the mind map these are some of the diagram flow chart you can think about the hierarchies so how the system is able to work like how how the system is able to work so here we can also help you and support you if you have any doubt in terms of technology to use in in terms of any any kind of doubt you can ask in discord these are low fidelity designs low fidelity is like even in pencil sketch it's like uh, if you want to communicate a beautiful design which is very easy to understand a pencil sketch is enough but uh, we 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 are asking for pencil sketches plus a very basic layout of the wireframe of the front end what you intend to do how the function will be happening so all this basic attribute high fidelity design is very beautifully colored all the attributes are there the content are there this is again one of the biggest attribute which will give you an add on advantage of when applying in the concept the five is the most three top three features of why you are proud proud of and what are the features you are proud of and why why those features will make a sense in the marketplace so this is the basic attribute any questions any doubt you have any things you have we will be in discord our team will be there and this uh, document will be pinned up in the info people can go through it we will be there to support them back to you dominico this is just an thank you thank you very much prava 
and uh, also I remind uh, the Discord channel uh, uh, also to stress that uh, uh, that will be our communication channel. So you are all invited to join with the link that uh, uh, you have received also by email. At the end of the presentation, I will show again uh, both the uh, Discord channel link uh, and uh, the email and also our uh, Discord handlers. Uh, but now I'll give the floor uh, uh, to our uh, philanthropy partner, uh, Prishil from uh, Social Alpha Foundation. Elise. Hi, Prishil. Hi, how are you? Just, um, we have a new puppy. Um, so nice to be here uh, on behalf of Social Alpha Foundation. Uh, we're really pleased to partner. We were connected with this uh, wonderful project through our newest fellow, Catherine Foster, who is community director at Open Earth Foundation who we really helped, uh, worked with and partnered with uh, in the recent carbon drop that helped to raise about six and a half million dollars for their efforts in climate action. Um, and we are excited to partner with this climate, um, this project to really help to connect our network of artists and our, our NFT artists and others uh, with our youth and the community. So really happy to be here and thanks again. Thank you, thank you very much, Prishil. So, as I said, I will share again the uh, like our communication links. So, the Discord channel here. I will also post into the chat. Here you have uh, our email, but especially our handlers. You can manage the communication by Discord, and we will send all this presentation also into the Discord channel. So, it will be our environment. Uh, just remind to uh, collaborate, think together, open your mind, uh, get your, the input that you received today from uh, our friends and uh, try to like really brainstorm on a possible solution on the challenges that uh, we have presented. And properly on that, I will uh, uh, give back the floor to Miroslav uh, in order to like reinforce on uh, what we expect from uh, this uh, hackathon. So uh, Miro, the floor to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, if you uh, continue sharing the presentation, uh, don't, Menico, uh, because uh, <coughs> we didn't mention the awards, so uh, that would be also, uh, I don't know, is it uh, up or down? Yeah, here they are. Yeah, so we should say that uh, my organization has uh, reserved uh, 1,000 euros for uh, 500 for the best design solution and 500 euro for the best software solution. And in addition to these monetary awards, there are non-monetary uh, awards participation in the award ceremony on the 12th of August, as Anna has already mentioned, and I've also mentioned before, we will launch the Digital Art for Climate uh, art competition. And uh, there uh, we will have a big audience uh, beyond uh, just this uh, designathon audience today. And there we will also uh, present the winners of uh, the designathon and their thinking and uh, outlines of solutions. And then uh, we have also planned entertainment shows uh, end of uh, September in Milan and in November in, uh, Glass in the context of the United Nations Conference in Glasgow. And we will see uh, whether we can integrate also the thinking and the narratives and the innovation uh, approaches of uh, these designer tone participants. These are, and there are, of course, a very important is uh, that uh, the designers who, the winners will then be also our partners for the implementation of the solutions. And really it's a uh, unique opportunity to work uh, with the unique network, uh, uh, the NFT platform, which is in, I um, uh, have really, the impression or the sense that uh, this will be one of the most important and most successful NFT platforms. And uh, this, uh, the UX UI designers uh, that will win will have there the chance to be in constant uh, connection and interaction with the unique network team and uh, developing solutions that will be relevant for our initiative, but also for many other front end solutions. And there will be employment opportunities and really uh, many co-benefits in this field. So these are my uh, additional information 
regarding the awards, there will be uh, a jury uh, composed by uh, today presented partners, but we have also additional um, uh, team members who uh, are experts on creativity and art. Uh, and uh, our partners have perhaps also others who are going to join in the jury. Uh, the details there we are working on. And then uh, we will have there on the, uh, the presentation uh, on the 29th, uh, presentation of solutions. And uh, we will see whether we will decide on the 29th already the, the winner or we will uh, have uh, more deliberations uh, and leading up to the 12th of August uh, for the big award ceremony. Yeah, uh, in terms, uh, I don't know. Uh, perhaps uh, then, if you could perhaps also uh, provide a little bit of uh, more um, um, what um, so this bridge between the back end and the front end, uh, where uh, and uh, uh, what we need in terms of uh, UX UI solutions or. Otherwise, uh, an important part of today's event, launch event, is also that we uh, meet uh, our participants, that we, uh, that uh, everyone has the chance to introduce him or herself uh, with uh, interests and institutional context or um, saying what uh, resonated most uh, for deciding to participate in today's event. Perhaps then uh, a few more words from you. Or as you are our tech guru. <laughs> absolutely, absolute pleasure, Miro. So the difference between Web 2 and Web 3 technologies is that we bridge the gap between traditional uh, websites where you can observe and you can share, but that contains no monetary value, right? So this becomes the internet of value. Uh, now, working with our UX partners and the rest of the group here, this is a small group to start with, but I imagine that this will grow we'd like you to we'd like to invite you to, to join us in the discord channel where we will coordinate our efforts and this is where we will be answering questions and we'll be available for any of your your, your design questions or anything anything that you have with regards but the primary focus of this designathon is to design as Miro said is to design the best solution and to design the the, the, the front end design of this marketplace that really conveys the message that the the, the, the meaning, the, the, the why that uh, Prav mentioned there earlier on in his, is the UX and the UI design uh, and, the, and the, the feel of this marketplace that we're designing here. And it's, it's, to, it's to facilitate the, the auction and the sale of NFTs for climate change, right? So that's absolutely clear. Prav can guide you through the UX and the UI design. Now, with, what I'd like to talk to you now about the fundamental core features of a, 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 an NFT marketplace. You will need to integrate a wallet, right? So you will need to be able to verify the transactions and you will need to be able to see where those transactions are, are layered. Right, so as they come in, as the orders come in, as the uh, the uh, auction takes place, yeah, uh, and the bids come in, you will need to have a uh, a, a, a wallet functionality. We will share a um, a, a, a framework in a. Uh, uh, Prav has a framework that, that we've been working with with uh, uh, prior to this event that we will share in a, in a Figma format that will give you a guide about what pages you will need and, and aspects that you will need to cover. And, and very much from a UX perspective, right? You don't, don't, don't want to take this uh, f f framework as, a, as, a, as merely um, uh, something to, to lay, up, lay on top, that you can take this and run wild with your imaginations, right? So it's a very flexible solution. And I want to bring you all your creativity and all of your imaginations to these features that, the, the, uh, the, the, that we require from the back end. So there is a, a, a place, a, a gallery, a place where you can display and we will be able to see all of the artworks that, uh, uh, that the submissions and ultimately the winners. And then there's the, the, the marketplace where the auction will take place or the sales, the sales, however this is constructed in the end, this is also part of the design. It's like, how will these, these NFTs be put on sale? Under what conditions? 
Right? So this is, the, this is the marketplace aspect. So you have a wallet, you have a gallery, and you have a marketplace. Now, these are the three very core aspects of a, a Web3 technology. So you need somewhere where you can transact the value. That is the wallet. Now, you need somewhere where you can display the NFTs that can go on sale. That is the gallery. And then you need somewhere where you can facilitate the sale, right? So it's a place where bids and uh, sales, whether they be direct sales or whether they be in some, some, some kind of auction mechanism, it's up to you. This is really a very open design question. And, and the, 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 the limitations on your imagination really are, very, are highly unbounded here. So I'd just like to leave it very open to your, uh, uh, to, 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 well, you want to work within the framework of the UX and the UI design, right? You've got to find out what it means to design a, a, a marketplace that conveys the meaning for digital art for climate. And through, through collaboration with all of the partners here in this call today, I am very excited to see what you come up with and then see how we can fit that into the marketplace, the white label suite marketplace that Unique provide that enable you to plug those front end designs into the back end that connects you to the blockchain, the internet of money. This is web three technology, right? And then open and verific, open platforms or open networks for uh, the exchange creation and trade of non-fungible tokens. This really is the time and re reiterate what, uh, <coughs> what Arena said earlier on, this is democratizing technology, right? So this is, this is bringing, the, bringing technology to the hands, into the hands of creators, truly in a truly global scale, right? So this is a huge potential in this technology to democratize the creative economies for everyone. So it's, it's, a, it's an area of huge potential to, to, to bring uh, new economies to life in places uh, in, uh, from around the world where technology now has the, the potential to, to sustain and preserve their environments around them. So it's the thinking local and thinking, thinking around your local area, thinking around where you live. We want all of that to come into these designs. Right? So this is where you need to be able to think that I need to show my artwork, I need somewhere to sell my artwork, but I also need to verify and see where those transactions are coming from so that, that I'm, I can ensure that I am taking responsibility and that you are part of this great movement of selling NFTs for climate change actions. Right? I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Yes. Uh, if I can add something to that, and Dan, like it is very nicely that you have <coughs> put in the part. Other part is like there was an era of renaissance, like the uh, time of M Michelangelo, Leonardo. So now technology have advanced so much. Like people are using technology so we can give back to nature. What the, it is going back to nature and giving something. So it is our core responsibility to going back and giving that using technology to go back to the nature. So when as a human, there are a lot of people who are not, not doesn't know about NFT, but when they see this is, there is a platform, I can buy something, I can sell something for the cause of human, nature and climate change. I am, I will be emotionally, I will be doing. And because of that reason, there are a lot of people turning into vegan. That is a human behavioral kind of thing. So I believe if it is done and plugged into right way, non-technological -pe non people, non-NFT people will also come into the marketplace. They will feel okay, party, they are, they are a part of a climate change in any way possible. That is very easy to use anywhere in the world they can sit and with their uh, use of interaction on the platform, they are contributing to the thing. So these are very nicely, uh, we can do biomimicry is one of the keywords where we can replicate the biological element to the design element, how we can do that. Other is carbon credit. Like there are a lot of digital attributes, all these thing people can think of when designing the marketplace of user experience, which will be easy to use and solving a purpose for the climate change. So it should be very climate change focused and art and design, definitely the fundamental you have already added those. So these are the some attribute people can obviously think of and add their inputs. Oh, thank you very much, guys. Uh, I don't know, Miro, if you want to add something, maybe. Uh, I, uh, very briefly, uh, two things uh, that are also very special with a uh, unique uh, uh, NFT platform and uh, is uh, 
because if uh, our participants, participants, if they don't know yet so much about uh, blockchain or crypto and so might uh, become afraid, it's uh, good to know that um, uh, Unique Network has the possibility of uh, spon uh, sponsored uh, transaction fees. So people can participate in the in the marketplace and in this uh, whole initiative without uh, uh, the need to have a cryptocurrency. We, we as the organizers of the marketplace and of the competition uh, and uh, together with Unique Network, we will cover the transaction costs uh, so that uh, people, don't, there is this uh, no such entry barrier there. And also the uh, Unique Network is working on fiat on ramp uh, so that uh, people will be able to pay uh, also again without cryptocurrency uh, uh, that uh, they can pay with a credit card and uh, so uh, or a bank uh, transfers. This is something I thought, to, but uh, just also to amplify what Dan and uh, Pramanjan have said, there's really, uh, this is unique uh, and this is in the spirit of time. So many people want to give back to Mother Nature and to show appreciation and care for Mother Nature. But there are no tools for this. And it, uh, if somebody is contributing uh, resources uh, and it's not visible and it's not uh, uh, really fraud proof that uh, this contribution has made, this discourages people. But blockchain technology, NFTs now really have a unique mechanism uh, to uniquely identify contributions, ownership, attribute ownership, attribute ownership to outcomes and whatever. And uh, this will be a game changer. This is a marketplace. I'm sure that within a few years, there will be really tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of transactions on this marketplace. And it will help also to the whole economy to become more uh, green and more sustainable, more climate friendly. So it's a big movement that we are starting here. And thanks for being with us. And with this, perhaps giving back to Domenico to uh, have the tour de table with participants, if you agree. Yes, sure. Yeah, now the floor to the participant. So please uh, uh, take the chance to introduce yourself. And uh, yes, tell us also about uh, um, what are your expectations on this initiative and so on. So I don't have here the full list, so I kindly ask you to uh, don't be shy and open your microphone. So you can raise your hand and introduce yourself. But just to remind that this session will be recorded, as you can see, uh, and we will share also the recording into the Discord channel. So also for the ones that eventually didn't have joined, uh, uh, you can have the chance to uh, re-see and uh, uh, review the, the recording with the main elements and so on. Just a very, very last time, I will be stressful on that, uh, on uh, uh, the presentation and also on the uh, contacts. Uh, so uh, I share again one moment uh, my screen with the uh, presentation on the contacts. Take notes on that because it's important to communicate these days, to synergize, uh, to cooperate. Because uh, uh, I, I assure you, I, I, I'm uh, now managing an hackathon, but uh, I've been also like a participant to a hackathon, and communication among team members is essential. So don't be shy to like communicate with also other person. I saw from the subscription that most of you are like uh, um, have not a team yet. We will assign you to a team. Uh, and uh, um, don't don't uh, hesitate to contact your team member also on Discord, uh, find them and so on in order to catch up and start working together. These are our, our contact again. The, the Discord channel was already shared by uh, Irina uh, into the chat. And so let's start. Let's be very energized from uh, this uh, experience uh, and uh, all the best for you. Good work to all.
and thank you, of course, for uh, the amazing uh, group and partners that uh, have uh, made this possible. So, Miroslav, for you, for uh, to you for the closing remarks. Yes, uh, happy to um, say the uh, concluding remarks. First, uh, first, a great thank you to uh, Domenico also for being the coordinator of the Designathon. Uh, it's uh, the first time that uh, my organization is involved in organizing a Designathon Hackathon. Domenico is more experienced here, and we are happy and proud to work with you on this. And uh, really, this is a great opportunity, this Designathon. It's a new topic, it's a new area, NFTs, uh, it's high potential. And here, uh, UX, UI designers, if you really take the chance uh, to uh, work with us, work with Unique Network uh, and these uh, wonderful uh, UX, UI experts from Palette 69 and Boolean and uh, with exquisite workers, uh, this, uh, is, will be a story of success. We, we are learning now, but we have designed the whole initiative also such that people can be onboarded till the 29th of uh, July when there is this uh, presentation. So or, or perhaps 28, I don't know. But uh, so uh, we will keep the information that is necessary for onboarding, including the recording of today on the Discord channel. So, and we will continue inviting uh, people and teams, individuals and teams uh, to join us. And uh, as I've said also in one of the emails that have been sent to you today morning, uh, this is um, for us, this creating this community uh, of UX, UI designers who work uh, with us on these innovative solutions, this community is the main point. It is uh, our... Uh, a program of work, our um, uh, solutions are also evolving. So uh, we uh, hope to be with you over the coming months and really uh, to generate for you also great opportunities, great uh, uh, rewarding experiences. And um, with this, I say thank you. There are these check-in points. Uh, one is on Friday, I think, where we will uh, be, we will continue our outreach on Monday. We have our Digital Art for Climate Partners call where we will see uh, uh, where we are standing and if there is uh, additional action needed for uh, increasing the participation in the uh, Designathon or providing more support. We will see, but uh, it's the journey begins here. We are delighted to have you with us and let's work uh, for a climate safe future with the power of culture and technology. Well, thank you, bye to all and uh, see you on Discord. Bye-bye. Bye, lovely. Thank you very much, fantastic. Thank you. See you.